Hey there pals, my name is Ejin and today I am going to be showing you a tutorial on how I build portals in vanilla Minecraft. So I have I have showcased these portals in a YouTube short. I have no idea how it did, hopefully it did well, I like that video but yeah. We're going to go step by step, there is going to be plenty of contraptions in this, multiple contraptions that makes the whole thing go working. And now we're going to start with this one. So this command, this command is going to test to see if a trident has an air block beneath I mean if it does have an air block beneath that means it is in midair so that means after a few seconds it'll just get deleted but if it doesn't but if it doesn't have an air block beneath as you can see these repeaters they're gonna like they're gonna they're gonna go here they're gonna do, so, do some fancy stuff and if it is made there for long enough, then it's gonna get blocked. The signal's gonna get blocked. But yeah, the first thing it spawns is just it's gonna spawn some stained glass. Even though the first portal is like blue stained glass, that will spawn the red ones first. So yeah, I spawned the second portal before the first portal, so it just overlays first. But yeah, this is like this is the shulker for the second portal. So that's how it works. As, but as you can see, this construction, this is what spawns the first portal. So this portal, it'll spawn the shulker that can detect me and make me teleport to the second shulker. This one, this now this one is interesting. This one teleports the second shulker upwards a bit, and this one, this one will, this one will make the blue stained glass that makes the portal. So if this first shulker is spawned, that means it'll test for it. And this comparator is gonna light up as you can see here not that way i just demonstrated but yeah it's gonna power this block right here now the interesting thing about this block over here is that is, let me show you i'm gonna i'll do it in like a second or so so if i break this block as you can see there is a piston i'm gonna break this block just to make sure of it so yeah there is a piston it'll get powered by the signal so if the first shulker already existed, there's gonna be like a signal that'll power the piston and that'll make sure that this signal cannot be executed. So yeah, now that's now this. Now this is actually the detection area. That command block that I just showed you there, both command blocks there to detect me and teleport me to the second shulker. And and if that and if that happens, it will like it'll fill the portals with air. It'll delete the portals, as you can see by these command blocks and it will like it'll kill all of the shulkers so the interesting about this is that the, te the teleportation command is run twice but since there is no there is no second shulker to teleport to since i killed it it'll just reset the command block because i had some glitches during it where the command block just stays powered so yeah that won't happen again that because it had because it's powered twice so the command block has not been updated so yeah as you can see this is not a contraption this this is gonna test for every single so if the shot if the second shulker is already spawned that means it, every single trident that spawns is gonna be like killed so if i already spawned the second shulker this trident is gonna you cannot spawn any more shulkers basically so yeah as you can see that command block the stained glass command block will lead to the trident being killed i had to do a real a lot of timing in this just to make sure it doesn't like it doesn't lag the system so yeah one tick for there and like four ticks or so to make the to make the throne trident die after everything already spawns but yeah this command block didn't kill the second one and now this command block this is gonna test for the one this is gonna test for the first shulker again just to make the second shulker actually work and it's gonna power this piston this piston is gonna block this circuit what does this circuit do well let me show you so this circuit as you can see, it's gonna teleport one to the throne trident. So the first time one spawns, these two are gonna be like, this, these two are gonna be powered. These two command blocks are gonna be, are gonna be powered. But when it, but when the second shocker spawns, it's not gonna be powered. But yeah, as you can see, this is just the execution. This is how it all works. So yeah, this only happens to the first shocker. The second shocker doesn't get these effects. So that's simple enough. But yeah. I'm pretty sure that's like all of them, so let's actually demonstrate it. As you can see when I throw the trident, some of the things are powered. And as you can see, the first shocker is spawned the second shocker is spawned first and then it and then it got killed. As you can see, 
this the t one is already tested the piston is oh wait i forgot to put a block there hold on let me quickly put a block um, there it is and so yeah and now that the piston is powered you cannot power this thing anymore so these three command blocks they don't work anymore because they only apply to the first shulker this command block also these two command blocks also cannot be powered because this signal is already blocked by this grass block so yeah you cannot so yeah, as you can see, that's the that's the killing command. Yeah, as you can see, when I throw the trident again, the second shulker spawns. So now we have two two shulkers. Now let me. And now, this thing will activate and it'll kill every single thrown trident ever. So I'm gonna test it, and it works. You can't throw any more tridents. So yeah, this is kind of like weird. You should probably use another ranged weapon like XP bottles or something, just to make this more practical. But yeah. So that is how the whole thing works and as you can see the final section this is gonna this is gonna like test if I'm near like the first shulker and it's gonna teleport me to, to the second shulker and then it's gonna like delete the portals and delete the shulkers so yeah let, I'm gonna demonstrate that really quickly I'm gonna walk to the first shulker and I'm gonna get teleported to the second shulker and boom both of the shulkers are, are, are killed and both the portals are removed so that is how this works and as you can see, all the tridents are also removed. And as you can see, you can just reset the system whenever you want. So the second shulker dies. The portal turns from red to blue. And if I throw it again, it's gonna spawn the second shulker. So this works from whenever the whenever, wherever the range of the command block is. One thing is though, if you like spawn the second shulker when you're like really close to the first shulker, you won't teleport instantly. You have to go far away for a bit, and then you have to immediately. You have to go out of range from this from the teleportation circle and then you can just go back into the teleportation circle and get teleported to the second area the second shulker i mean so yeah there are a few glitches like the block sometimes overlays as you can see this that that one just broke the diamond pillar but yeah and as and as you can see i tested it the first shulker you if you go near the first shulker before the second shulker spawns it will not teleport you there because it because the second shulker hasn't existed yet. I'm not sure if we can bring up some bugs and exploits when the second shulker is still alive. I mean, this like instantly killed, but yeah. I'm not sure how it works. So yeah, that is how you make the thing. It's really nice. It is very complex, but it only took me two hours to figure out. And that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you do, make sure you like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye, pals.